and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Last time, we finished exploring in Mount Gullug, and then, uh, we fought off Zorn and Thorn, destroyed them for good! This time, they are gone for good. We will never see them again. I'm serious, people, we never will. And then we returned to Lindblom, we found Lady Hilda inside Mount Gullug, and then we returned to Lindblom. And now we have to go back to the conference room, so, let's go! Let's head for the conference room. At last. Upper level. We're heading for the conference room, finally. See what's going on. Who's that guy? It's Regent Sid. What? Still hasn't got any manners, Rip. <clears throat> Still haven't learned your manners. You can stop the fog talk now. S silence! Ripper. Now well. Uh, I didn't gather you all to talk about that. I called for this meeting to tell you about what I learned in while in Kruger's captivity and it's captivity. I may provide a hint about where he may be. Listen carefully. I don't see the princess! I shall look for her! I will begin constructing Hildegard 3. The blue noises will be used for its construction. Now, Hilda will tell you the rest. Hilda. <sighs> so, what did Kuja discuss with you? Some parts of the story may be hard, hard to believe, but please hear me out. Kuja plans to use this world as a means of acquiring an, an even greater power. Greater power? What would he do with it? I don't know. He had indicated that he wasn't of this world. <laughs> We call our world Gaia. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out, viewers, that's the name of the the world, the entire world on FF9. Uh, Gaia. Right there. But he called his birthplace Terra. Terra, huh? Terra. And we get another AT. Team. What team could it possibly be? Let's see. Oh, it's the Tantalus. What are they doing? How are the repairs coming? They're going really slow. We can't rush up, or everything will probably fall apart again. We're not getting anywhere. I've been here up here forever. I want to switch places with someone. I guess the damage is a lot worse than we expected. Ah! She's not here either. Where could she be? Yo! Oh, it's only you! Why are you all gathered here? Are you scheming another abduction or something? Why, you little? Hey, watch your mouth. We were just discussing ways to restore the district. Yeah. Old timer, you got us all wrong. Yeah, you do have them all wrong, Steiner. Yeah. We're just trying to rebuild our home, that's all. What are you doing here? From the looks on your face, it seems like you got problems! What's troubling you? Maybe we can help! Er, can I really trust you? Yeah! The princess is missing! She's not in the castle, so I figured she would be in town! Why don't you go back to the castle before you get lost? What? We'll find her! This is like our backyard! Alright, you heard me! Get moving! You have my gratitude. Hey, no pop. I hope my voiceover for Baku is still good, viewers. I figured that would be, would be appropriate for him. This Terra seems to be connected with a place called the Shimmering Island. I don't know where Kuja went, but maybe we can find him if we go there. Unfortunately, you can't get directly to Terra from the Shimmering Island. 
Of course you can't! Everyone would have discovered this other world by now if it were that easy! So what do we do? I'll tell you. The gateway that connects the two worlds is sealed, but Ku just said that there is a place where the seal can be broken. Where's that? He said it's an old cast an old castle located in the northern area of the Forgotten Continent. An explorer left a record of his trip to that particular castle on this forgotten continent. If I remember correctly, he wrote that the cliffs were too steep to explore. Older than that, very little is known about this forgotten continent. Well, since since this castle doesn't have a name, let's call it Ibsen's Castle. Ibsen's Castle, huh? Yeah, we don't know anything about the world beyond our continent. We get another AT. More ATs! All right. Recovery. How is the ship coming along? Regent, you're human again! Yes! Yeah, we can concentrate on building the ship! Judging by our experience with Hildegard 2, we're almost finished with the engine. We're having problems with the construction of the hull, though. Yes! I'm thinking about using parts of the blue noises for the body! How come? I realized that the blue noises was a well-built ship when I rode in it. There are other reasons, but we must hurry. I already have a complicated blueprint in my head. Do as I tell you, and it will be completed in no time. Let's get ready. Roger. Well, apparently they're constructing Hildegard 3 now. Is it better than Hildegard 1? Eh, it might be. That's all I heard. You may find a clue if you go to Ibsen's castle. Did you ask Kuja about all this? These are all the things he discussed voluntarily. He became very impassioned as he spoke. And he volunteered information without even my asking. He probably thought telling me his plans wouldn't affect his grand scheme. He's right. His power is great. And we're at a disadvantage. But I can't forgive Kuja. He toyed with my friends' lives. Now we know where we need to go. The problem is getting there. I guess we'll have to wait until Sid finishes the Hildegard 3. Today, I bring troubling news! What, what now? I cannot find the princess! I've looked all over Lindblom! The members of Tantalus aided me in my search, but... She's not in Lindblom? Then there's only one place. Do you know where she is? I think so. You guys wait here in Lindblom. I'll be right back. Take your time, Zidane. Ah, where are you guys going? We're gonna look for Dagger. Is there anyone else we need to look for? No, but we looked all oh, we looked over there already. Go someplace where we haven't already looked. Well, it's about time Senna's getting his priorities straight. Sin is so demanding. True, true. Uh, Sin is better than you guys. <laughs> I can tell you all that right now. Hey, Ruby. Blink! Marcus! How are y'all doing? We're doing alright. How's show business, Ruby? Well, the money ain't no good, but I'm having fun. I like it. That's great. Our hideout in Limblum got completely destroyed. It's gonna take a miracle to fix the place. Well, we better! Oh, sorry. We came to Alexandria for a reason. Have you seen Dagger? Dagger? No, I ain't seen her! What about her? You fixing to kidnap her again? No, we're just looking for her this time. I was only kidding, Marcus! I'll ask the patrons to be on the lookout! Thanks, Ruby. I wonder if Zidane is here with these good old boys! Well, normally he would be, Ruby, but not this time. But he is there. This is strange. 
I was sure that she'd be back in Alexandria. Where else can I look? Hey, a day! I'm Finn looking for ya! Boss, have you found Dagger? Nah, can't find her anywhere! I didn't find Dagger, but I think I saw that chick! That chick? Yeah, you know that chick! I'm gonna check again! Hey, wait, who is she? What are you talking about? Well, who could he be talking about, Zidane? Where are you going, boss? Is she here? She was standing over there just a second ago! Over there? Hey, I recognize that theme. Hey, is that... Is that... That... Is that who I think it is? Zidane, I think that's who you think it is. I think we recognize who that is. forget about that. It happened a long time ago. You got a big heart, unlike that knucklehead Steiner! No wonder the women are running the show here! <laughs> Boss, you must have seen Beatrix! Hey! Yep, that was Beatrix, right there. As you can see, Alexandria was completely destroyed. Steiner and I did our best to protect Alexandria. But our efforts were in vain. Steiner was worried about you. Why haven't you contacted him? Yeah, Beatrix, why? Dagger's still in shock, but she's been mute ever since the attack. She is? Then it is better for her not to return to this city for a while. It won't do her any good to see Alexandria like this. Well, here's the thing. We can't find her. I thought she'd be back here, but I can't find her anywhere. She is back in Alexandria? But she's nowhere to be found? Have you looked in the resting place? Resting place? Yes, if she is back in Alexandria, I'm certain that's where she, that's where she will be. There are a couple of favors I'd like to ask you. If you see Princess Garnet, please tell her not to worry about Alexandria. She must take care of herself first. Sure, what else? I'd like you to give something to her. What do we get? We get a Garnet, alright! That teaches Dagger the, the all, almighty ultimate Bahamut summon in the game. Now we can finally use Bahamut again at last. After it was extracted from her. Maybe it will help the princess get through this time of uncertainty. Uh, I'd say it would, Beatrix. So there you go. Well, there's the resting place right there. Is this where Dagger is at? Yep, this is where she's at. I've been looking for you, Dagger! Zidane! You can talk again? Alright, she's got her voice back at last, alright! I... I've been thinking since the disaster. I've been thinking that I have to become a queen and bring back peace to Alexandria. That's why I came back here, but... Can I stay with you guys for a while longer? Can I ask why? When my mother was still alive, my primary concern was how to talk and look like a princess. Those were the only things on my mind. That didn't change when my mother died and I was about to become a queen. I only thought about how to look and act like a queen. I don't think the people will accept me as their queen the way I am right now. I don't know about that. I have no right to rule over this country. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Beatrix wanted me to give this to you. Catch! Is this a garnet? 
That's right, isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. So beautiful. That gem used to be just an ordinary stone. The stone made a wish. I want to shine. The stone traveled from person to person in keeping with its wish. And now it's shining in your hand, Dagger. If you're willing to make an effort, you'll shine too someday. The day will come when Alexandria needs you. There is no rush. The important thing is to have the desire. Thanks. I have to apologize for using you guys as an excuse to run away from my responsibilities. Hey, what's important is that you honestly want to stay with us. That's right, Zane. Zane, can I borrow that knife again? Which one? The one that helped me make my last big decision. I'm borrowing this. Well, be careful with that dagger. It's a weapon, remember. Be careful. Zane, remember the way I was for me? What are you going to do, Dagger? What are you going to do? Don't do it! Don't do it! What are you going to do? You wouldn't. Oh, okay. Okay, you cut off some of your hair. Okay, I... Okay. okay. That's a, a new look for you, Dagger. There you go. That's a new look for you, Dagger. And... Is this the, the Hildegard 3? Is it? Alright, it's the Hildegard 3 and it's finished. I at last. Well, there we go. That didn't take long at all. We are now taking off to the sky! Finally. With sweet music to my ears! I love the theme they play here. What, 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 what happened? What happened to your hair? P -p Princess, what have you done? I know, so they broke your heart, didn't he? How dare he? <laughs> Is that true? Well, hold on! Don't jump to, con to conclusions! Sedane's right, Aiko. What? What? Dagger! You can talk again! Yes, I'm sorry I made you all worry. It's okay, but your hair! It was so beautiful! Short hair doesn't suit me. Oh, no! You look great! Thanks, Aiko. It's still too early to celebrate. Aaron, you know our destination! Yes, Ibsen's castle on the Forgotten Continent. That's right, we'll go there to find out how to enter Terra through the Shimmering Island. I'm sure we'll find out more about what's going on once we reach Terra. Yeah, and hopefully we'll learn about what Kuja wants to achieve. The location of Ibsen's continent, Ibsen's castle, has been marked on the map based on Lady Hilda's information. Please check by pressing select after we depart. I can't talk today. You can also press X on the bite spots on the map, and the ship will take you to those locations automatically. Yep, just like in Final Fantasy VIII, viewers, uh, we can select a location on the world map, and it'll automatically take us there. The game will automatically take us to that location, just like in Final Fantasy VIII. You can check how to maneuver the ship automatically by pressing triangle while the large map is open. Excuse me! Please let me know if you'd like to switch out your party members. I shall assist you in any way that I can during your journey. You don't have to be so formal. Let's just relax and enjoy our flight. Alright, and now we can choose a party and, and now we can actually explore the world again. Uh, but this time we have an airship. We can ac access a new few new areas. And, and now those chocograph pieces that, those last two chocograph pieces are, are in Chocobo's Lagoon and Chocobo's Forest for digging. And we can go get those now. So I'm going to choose the default party. And we're going to explore the world with our new airship, the Older Guard 3. I think I have enough time in the video to g do a few things, so let's go do that. 
and you get some airship controls, that's great. So let's see. Let's go back and let's go, um... And let's go to, let's see, let's, let's go to, um... Let's see. Uh, we don't want to go there just yet. I don't have that much gill, I don't think, do I? Let me see. Let me see how much gill I have here. Okay, I got enough. Okay, let's go. Let's explore this place first. Alright, let's see. And here we got Daguerra, one of my favorite areas in the game. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go there, there just yet. Let's go over here and... Uh, huh? What's this? Get the Capricorn Stelazio. All right. Let's see. Let's go over here. I actually do want to do some stuff here real quick, so let's see here. Hmm, Noggy here. And uh, Noggy doesn't have anything for us, so there we go. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go over here. This is Daguerra, where knowledge and water come together. What do you need? I could have done a better voiceover for him, but whatever. Um, I actually do want to synthesize two Sargentonises. Uh, one for, for synthesizing into something else now, so let's see. Let's see, what else can I synthesize? Uh, Gornet? Do I have enough for that? Oh yeah, I got plenty for that, but I don't think I want to do that just yet. Um, I'm actually going to get the Gornets off screen, but there we go. I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, let's see. Anything else I need to synthesize? Hmm. Well, there's a glutton just load. Let's get that. There we go. And what else? Hmm. That's it for now. Okay. Uh, I can't get the Thief's Gloves. Yeah, they're 50,000 gills, so... I'll probably get that off-screen, but I do want to get that another one of those for Amorant. So there we go. Let's see. Alright. Four-armed man is here. You came here hoping for, to find some treasures, huh? I can tell from your eyes. I'm a treasure hunter myself, and a famous one, too. Just because I'm famous doesn't mean I'm gonna tell you my name. Almost all treasure hunters are assigned ranks. I, of course, have attained the highest rank. Let's see, your treasure hunter rank is... Rank A. Not bad. N not bad. Hmm. Well... I want, uh, want to talk to him again later, but not right now. Uh, what's this? Sure, let's press the button. Hmm, well, what did that do? Well, it sounds like something happened just happened below. Alright, well, we'll check that out shortly, but not just yet. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. Jeez, there's all kinds of books there. Bell Echoes, Ben Might Be on the Mist, Mist Engine Illustrator, The Idolin and I, Gaia, and Book of Magic. Hmm. <coughs> Alright, well... Let's talk to this man right here. A good book lasts forever. It will always be there in your memories. I've asked to be buried with my favorite book. Oh, that's it? Okay, well... I can't find the Eidolon and I. I've looked everywhere. I saw that book over there. Oh, really? Thank you. Alright, well, let's go in here now. This ladder feels kind of damp. Let's go down. I like the world. It's a nice place. I want to go. Want to go left first. So let's go left. I'm doing research uh, on a legendary man. He had the power to restart people's lives. Hey, that's the naming white card. Let me see. I won't take it or anything. Sure. Oh yes. I stoked with imagination. I've insp I'm inspired to create. I have just mastered the naming white technique. Now let me rename one of you. And anyway, now that we have the renaming white card. Since we have the naming white card, we can actually change characters' names if we so choose, but uh, I don't want to right now, so uh, let's go over here. Get a hidden treasure. An elixir. Awesome. Huh. Well, apparently the, it, it moved a slab down, and it looks like some kind of dragon or something. Well, we'll check that out very shortly, but let's go over here first. And get another hidden treasure. Another elixir. Can never have enough of those. Let's see. Let's just spend many, many, many hours playing Joker Ball and Cold to get 99 of them. <laughs> I only play Joker Ball and Cold to get the accessories I wanted to get. That's it. And the other stuff, the Joker Grass and all. I used to move equipment and materials up and down on that lift uh, until it broke. Now I'm losing all of my business to that old geezer at the synthesis shop. 
Uh oh. Well, that don't sound good. Well, uh, why don't we help him out then? I think there's. I think we can actually do something to help him. Let's go. Let's see. Um, let's go over to that slab that came down, and, uh, let's see. Let's see, Dragon's God's blessing to the stone. So I'm supposed to put a stone here? Stone? Maybe some more might work. Alright, I'm actually gonna put in a lot of ores here. Let's put in 70. See what that does. They transformed! We got 17 Aquamarine, alright. Wow. That's going to power up Dagger's Leviathan Summon right there. I might spend time getting some Aquamarines from that place off-screen, from that slab over there, to max out uh, Dagger's Leviathan Summon power so that it can deal max damage or so, or however much it can deal. I might spend some time doing that off-screen, but not right now. But yeah, if you place a lot enough ores over there, you can transform them into Aquamarines, so there you go. Alright, let's see. Let's see, they've got three levers of- oh, well, who's this? Oracle killed ya! Well, it's nice to know that he survived Clara's destruction. Zidane, my goodness, how wonderful to see you again. Hey, what are you doing here? After Clara was destroyed, I realized how isolated we have all been. So I decided to broaden my horizons and came here. It's wonderful here. I am constantly learning something new from these books. Someday, I hope to contribute to the rest restoration of Clara. Oh, well, that's nice. That's very nice. Okay. You do that, kill deal. Let's see, um... Well, let's lower the middle lever, and let's talk to this guy. Quiet! Got you! See, I'm doing research here! Well, whatever. Uh, let's move the... Let's move the right lever. Is that the one? Okay, that's not the one. Let's move the left lever, not the right lever. There we go! Let's see. What's this bar doing here? Hmm. Well, there's a bar there, and over here, there's a hole. What is this hole? Oh, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's check out this bar here. Hey, maybe I can fit this in that hole. All right, let's see if this will fit. Perfect. All right, now we can lower the, uh, the, the right lever now, and... Let's see if this works. Looks like it might work. Let's test it out. Let's test it out. Is it gonna work? Alright, we got the lift working again. We fixed it, finally. Alright, we fixed the lift again. Alright, the lift works now. Thanks a lot, man. And it'll uh, immediately sell some stuff. Alright. Let's see, I do want to buy one moon blade for now. One obelisk. A tiger fangs. Anything else? I already got the missile rackets. Uh, let's see. Anything else I want to buy? I do want to buy some defense gloves. I'll buy one for now, but I do want to buy another one very shortly, so... Uh, let's see. Anything else? I don't have a coin. I might want to buy one of those. I actually want to buy six of these, but, uh, I'll just buy one for now, and I am out of gill. I do want to buy two diamond helms, and let's see. Some more demon's vests. So, there we go. Five of those. And I do want to buy some diamond armors, too. Uh, I'll come back and get some of this stuff off-screen, but not right now. So, because I am out of gill, I do need more gill. Uh, fortunately, I can I can defeat Gimme Cats to Gimme Gill. And I can also learn abilities in the meantime, so... But as you can see, right now I'm all out of gill, yep. Alright, let's get on, let's get a move on. There's one more thing we can do, let's see. Before I end the video off. So this video might go up to like 40 minutes. I apologize if it does. But let's see. There's one more thing we can do before I end the video off. Let's go back to, um, to where the Chobo's Lagoon is, and let's see. And, and, and let's get some Chogograph pieces now. Let's get those last two Chogograph pieces that are now available after we have the Hildegard 3. Let's see. First, I need to find out where the Chocobo Tracks are. 
Also, another thing I'm gonna do off screen is go back to all the Q's marshes and capture more fogs, too. I'm also gonna do that, so there you go. But anyway, let's go to the Chocobo tracks here. And let's see. Call Choco. There he is. Okay, Choco, let's go get those last two Choco graph pieces now. And these are not available until right now, people, after we get the Hildegard 3. Uh, I did hear that in some of the early versions of the game, that the game does not lock you out of getting all those Choco graph pieces before, before getting the Hildegard 3, and you can sequence break the game. But I also heard if you do that, uh, that Dagger will never recover from her muteness, so, if you do that, so... But, right now she has, so there we go. Alright, let's, uh, look for those last two Choco Graph pieces now. Oh, I'm almost out of guilt, wow. Okay. If I don't find them in this video, I'll get them off screen. So, there we go. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I still have that Choco Graph skill, uh, Choco, Choco Bahat and Cold skill in my, in my, inside, in me. Let's see if I still have it in me. Oh, got some guilt back, nice, that'll help. Got an echo screen, okay, that's not what I wanted, though. Gil, nice! Haha! <laughs> Got some gill back. Very nice. That'll help. That 200 gill will really help right there. And I got another liver bonus. Nice. Although I'm probably not gonna buy any more or exchange it, those points for any more stuff. <laughs> Cause I already got all the robes of lords and protect rings I need. Dead pepper, okay. Alright, 200 more gil. Very nice. Especially since I'm low on gil.
on another dead pepper. Nuts. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Come on, we gotta get those last two Togograph pieces. I know they're here. I know they're here. Pieces can't hide from me. I know y'all are here. I know you're here. I still have 47,000 points that I haven't even used yet. <laughs> that probably won't even use. <laughs> Alright, there's a Choco Guy piece right there. That's one. We still need one more. Gotta be over here then. Down here? No? No? Over here? Oh, it's up here. Oh well. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There we go. There we go. Well, that costed me some time. Nah, but that's okay. Got one choco graph piece, there's still one more to get. Let's see. There's still one more choco graph piece we have to find before we can continue on.
Wow, I'm getting limit bonuses left and right. Apparently, I still have the skill in me. I still have it in me. Ah, now the looks are all right. Can never have enough of those. Now, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there you are. Another 200 gil. Okay. Another potion. Still not what I'm looking for. Come on, where's that last struggle graph piece? I know it's here. Alright, we got the last Chocograph piece, alright, finally! That is the last Chocograph piece in the game, right there. The last Chocograph piece, not the last Chocograph, but the last Chocograph piece. Now let's just finish up this round of Chocobo Hunt and Cold, and then I'll call it for the video. Put you out of business, Minnie, if you don't watch it. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Do we have all the Choco Graph pieces? We need some more Choco Graph now, Kippo! Take a look at what it says on the back! Go treasure hunting, Kippo! <coughs> Choco City all the way back up all the little Choco Graphs here! Kippo, maybe you can go to some other locations by using Dead Bumper! Well, we have all the Chocograph pieces now, viewers. But what are these Chocograph pieces uh, gonna 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 uh, gonna do for us? What uh, what is the final upgrade that Choco is gonna get? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Like, comment, subscribe, rate, and share. Whatever y'all can think of, and I will see you on the next episode, the next part, when we finally get Choco's final upgrade and see what all those chico these chocograph pieces signify. See y'all then. Thanks for watching.